Someone once said, have faith in your journey. Everything had to happen exactly as it did to get you where you're going next. My journey started on February 21st, 2000. My mom gave birth to me three months before graduating high school. And because she was unable to take care of me, I was legally adopted by my great aunt and uncle. Growing up, I lived a very carefree life. I was a very active child and sports played a major role in my life. However, I was very shy and quiet, and because of this, I stopped playing sports when I entered high school. Freshman year, I only talked to a few people, and I was afraid to branch out on my own. I spent the length of freshman year convincing my closest friend Gabby to join the cross country team with me. She finally agreed, and it was through cross country that I met a lot of new people. I'd always had a hard time breaking out of my shell, and I began to struggle with finding my own identity. Around this time, things also started to get rougher at home. I remember feeling very lost and confused. I decided to quit cross country and turn to more negative outlets. These outlets left me on life support after being resuscitated and rushed to the hospital. The day that I woke up is a day I'll never forget. I was woken up by loud screams and doctors flooding the room. I looked over to my left to see a little girl around the age of eight or nine. It wasn't until several minutes later that a doctor realized I had woken up and was watching all this happen. Nurses rushed over to me and tried getting me out of the room, but it was too late. Her time of death was called when I reached the doorway. This experience was very tragic and I couldn't help but to feel guilty. Weeks later, when I got out of the hospital, I vowed to try my hardest to live the best life I could possibly live. I started to branch out more and meet new people. I met some of the people I'm still friends with today, and I learned to always live in the moment. While people might not always stick around, the memories will. Everyone you meet will teach you something, but it's important to remember that not everyone is worth your energy. I left my house after 17 years of living with my guardians, and I didn't hesitate to cut off all ties with them. I began to surround myself with people with qualities I actually admire. And this is when I started to feel true happiness. Happiness sometimes seems like a very hard feeling to keep around. Throughout high school, I let my struggles stop me from trying a lot of new things and gaining a lot of experiences. As I've gotten older, I've learned to let loose and be myself. I've also learned to find happiness in the little things, whether that be listening to my favorite music in my car, talking to my friends, or laying in bed reading a book. So if you haven't listened to anything I've said over the past few minutes, just remember this. The greatest lesson that you could ever learn is to keep an open mind and focus on growth. Because we all have the power to choose happiness. And while it may be hard at times, we must keep choosing happiness.